Hello, my name is Dorothy Bishop and I'm inviting you to take part in a research study at the University of Oxford. This video shows you what happens in our study. This will help you decide if you want to take part. We want to find out why some children have problems with talking or learning to read. People often think this is because they've not been taught properly. However, everyone is different and some children may find it easier to learn than others even if they're all taught the same way. We are looking at how people's DNA affects their ability to learn to read and talk. DNA is like a set of instructions that people have inside them that helps them to grow. We will see over 600 children for our study. Some of the children in the study have difficulties in school and others don't. Some children in the study have a medical condition that may make it hard for them to learn to talk or read. Some children in the study are twins. Twins are interesting because we can study two children growing up in the same home and that can tell us about the kinds of things that make them similar or different. When you've watched this video you can decide if you'd like to take part. If your family does want to take part, somebody from our research team would telephone your mum or dad to tell them a bit more about the study and answer any questions they have. If everyone is still happy to take part, we would come to visit you at home or school. We would do some activities with pictures and words and altogether it takes about one and a half hours. But we take breaks so you don't get bored. Genevieve will show you some of the things that children do in our study. She will be working with Annika, who is one of our researchers. In some of the activities, Genevieve does not need to say anything. Skip you next. Check in a box. Here, Skip she's just been asked to point to the correct picture. And here, she's moving the blocks to make a pattern. In other activities, Annika asked Genevieve to say a word or sentence. Jane ate all of her dinner. Jane ate all of her dinner. Ready, steady, go. She also has a go at reading some words. And it's so big. It doesn't matter if there are some she's not sure of. Annika starts with easy words and stops if Genevieve finds it too hard. Chop meat. Best then spell curl. For some of the activities, Annika records what Genevieve says so she can listen to it again later. Her teachers and friends don't know how Genevieve has done. We don't put children's names on the record sheets or recordings. We use a special code number instead. All the information is kept in a locked filing cabinet so nobody else can see it. Now we can see Annika taking a sample of Genevieve's spit. Genevieve just has to spit a few times into the pot. The pot has her special code number on, not her name. The spit is sent off to a laboratory so we can look at Genevieve's DNA. This lets us look at specific bits of DNA that may affect how easy children find it to read and to talk. For some children, we also ask mum and dad to spit into a pot so we can look at their DNA too. We'll bring a special machine with us called a transcranial Doppler ultrasound. Here you can see Matthew taking part in the study. We place a headset comfortably on his head and use a little bit of gel to position the two probes in front of his ears. When they are in the right place, the Doppler can measure the blood flowing to each side of the brain. We can find out which side of the brain works hardest when he talks. Matthew sees a short video and then tells Georgina a little bit about what he saw. What happened in that one? He put his scarf and hat on and just went up. Very good. And what colour was his hat and scarf? Red. Very good, well done. In between bits of video, he sits very quietly when he sees the picture going shh. The Doppler task doesn't hurt and is totally safe. 
Mum or dad also have two questionnaires to fill in. This takes about 15 minutes for each child. There is also an interview that they can do on the computer. This takes between 10 and 30 minutes to complete. The study won't help the children who take part, but it is important because it lets us find out things that might help other children who are having problems reading or talking. After the activities are over, Annika gives Genevieve a certificate to say thank you for taking part. You don't have to take part in this study. It's up to you and your family. Also, you can say yes now and change your mind later. All you have to do is to tell us you want to stop. Before you say yes or no to being in the study, talk to your mum or dad about it. You can find more information about our study on our website. If you or your parents have any questions about the study, you can ring us on the number shown or email us. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video.